Columbia Television offered me a, 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 a made an offer I couldn't refuse to come back and do TV. And once again, I was in movies, kind of always wanting to get back into TV. I always was in TV wanting to get into movies, and then I got into movies and always thinking, I'd like to get back in TV. Anyway, they offered me a thing to, they, there was a deal where like uh, uh, Columbia and Paramount were in a race to pick off MTM writers. Taxi, Cheers, um, uh, what's Gary David Goldberg's uh, show? Family Ties. Family Ties. It, they were grabbing MTM writers and getting, and those were all at Paramount. So Columbia thought they could do it with me and Ed Weinberger. I don't think Ed ever did anything for him. I did the famous Teddy Z, which I thought would be kind of a funny showbiz thing. And of course, everybody said, nobody wants to see a show about show business. But now we have Entourage. I, I was just kind of an early Entourage thing. John Cryer had the lead, and I, I, I don't think he, he really had the chops for it at the time. But in walked Alex Rocco. Uh, and I'd never had more fun writing for a character, and I, he was the agent, Al Floss, and I he made fun of every agent I'd ever met, and Rocco won an Oscar, and we got canceled, and everybody walked away. And I, I didn't even, I didn't really care. I didn't think the show was that good, except that I thought Rocco was solidly brilliant. He blew me away, you know. And up to that point, he was always Mo Green. In fact, he still t he just passed away this year. And uh, he's we were playing golf once in in Virginia. He and I years later, and another foursome came up. And two guys looked at one another and they said, "Holy blank! It's Mo Green!" <laughs>